Welcome from the Automotive Tech ID Berlin 2016. I'm here with Dr. Alexander Haas, Managing Director at Inventivio. Hello. Um, welcome to the conference and thank you so much for your time to participate in the interview. Um, do you mind briefly introducing yourself and tell us a bit more about your professional background? Thank you. I'm Managing Director of Inventivio and we've been focusing for the last five years on paradigm changes in, in, in innovative technologies in the auto industry. I've been looking at the business aspects of where this revolution that is coming or that may be coming uh, could take us um, and have done many analysis on, on the evolution of the automotive sector. That was actually your line or your topic for last night's round table, right? Autonomous driving, evolution or revolution. What insights did you get? What feedback did you receive from the big delegates? It was a very interesting question and um, um, the, the ideas were quite split about um, whether we'll see incremental evolution in the auto industry through autonomous technology or whether this will be a paradigm shift and a tsunami that is coming. Um, actually about um, three quarters of uh, the respondents said that they think it's, it's going to take its time and it's more incremental and a quarter um, assumed uh, that it's more revolutionary. Um, if you've heard today um, the, the um, presentations, we've heard a lot of disruption and, mm -hmm. and revolution, so maybe there's a, a change in perspective for many of the participants um, that we see. What do you happening. personally think? Is it a revolution or do we have an evolution? I think if we, if we look at the past five years and the speed of innovation in this field, um, this points more to, towards a revolution. Five years ago, people thought this is science fiction, fully autonomous cars, will they ever come, will politicians um, adopt regulations for this? And today, uh, this is no longer science fiction, uh, everybody knows that it will come, people disagree, is it three years, is it five years, is it seven years, but everybody knows it will be there mm -hmm. in a short time, that cars without steering wheel will work. And so immense amounts of money are pouring into accelerating this innovation. I think uh, we we will see a revolution here, fundamental change. Okay, and if you had to convince someone who is not quite sure about autonomous driving, is really quite hesitant, what would you say to him or her, and these are really the biggest advantages? One big advantage is the safety. Um, as humans, we are not that attentive. Um, um, a self-driving car has a 360 degree um, round view all the time, looks to the back, to the front, does not sleep, is not drowsy. Um, so safety is a big, big issue, but the other issue is cost and, and, and simplicity, convenience. Um, when we have fully autonomous vehicles, people will basically use taxis, will um, use shared resources, car sharing will, will work very well. And that will reduce the cost of mobility. Um, and the cost of mobility is, is high um, for the average person. Um, yeah. And um, so lots of people will benefit, old people will benefit, uh, disabled people will benefit and the environment will be benefit greatly because um, we will have, we will need many fewer cars. It will be much easier to get electric cars onto the roads. If you have fleets of, of cars that provide mm -hmm. local trips uh, to the train station or to, to downtown at low cost. And so if you look at, if you look at the city, cities today and look at parking lots, how much metal is there in the city, just think about what that means if we have only a tenth of the cars, how much space, how much green space we can gain in cities, uh, there are huge benefits. Really good for the environment, yeah, definitely. You already touched on the security aspects, right? Um, what other big challenges do you see or big risks for autonomous driving? I think that, that autonomous driving is on, is on an excellent track right now. Um, we're making very quick progress. Um, certainly security is an issue, the hacker issue basically, but that's something that can be overcome. And the most likely what we'll see first are, are fleets. Um, and fleets are easier to secure than if you sell an autonomous car to somebody who can then do all kinds of things with the car. With fleets you have more control. So I think security is going to be uh, all right. Um, the, Technology is moving very fast. Politics is coming around. If we look at Europe, um, 
the politicians are not hindering uh, the adoption of this. They are starting to help accelerating this. So I don't think that we'll see many big um, obstacles uh, mm -hmm. in the next years, rather that it will be a quick progress. Okay, and going away from autonomous driving to actually um, looking at the conference, mm -hmm. um, what were your main objectives when attending the conference? How are you enjoying it so far, especially the interactive format? I think the, the interactive format is excellent. The way that people um, get to know each other and are able to network is, is a huge positive. Uh, I think already the way that the conference starts um, with the icebreaker sessions, but also um, the, the amount of space that is available during the conference to interact with peers, to meet peers you would um, not meet that easily and quickly um, in other settings. Um, that's a huge benefit of the conference and of course it is also well balanced I think with the, with the content, um, with the topics. Um, mm -hmm. It's not just technical, it looks at the business side so it's, it's an excellent format. Good, great, thank you so much for sharing your insights, really appreciate that and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you, thanks a lot. <laughs>